Performing live is exhilarating. Performing live is scary. Performing live feels like home. When I get a call from an award show, I immediately try to think of the arrangement that I want to do. I think of the song. For me, it's a lot about the vocals and making sure that I give a great vocal performance because that's what I do. That's what I've always done and care most about since I was a kid. My city, Philly, has given me, definitely given me my grit. We are strong, strong-willed, and very, very soulful. I used to perform at an event called the Black Lily when I was younger, and it was so many great performers that came there, and I used to watch them perform, and they used to do, you know, their whole set live. So it definitely prepared me to be able to sing live in this industry. The performances from home have been amazing. I always say that I was quarantining before Corona even hit. I have been enjoying just being home and being in my element and being free. When I'm home, I'm my most comfortable and kind of inviting people into my world. That's really what it is. Well, I probably should be doing something to get into a zone. <laughs> I kind of just wing it, you know? It's like, I play too much and then I just go on stage and just wing it. I have to keep it light, I have to keep it easy before I go on stage. Because once you get on stage, it's kind of lights, camera, action. You have to show up and you have to perform. But before then, um, it kind of just fills me. It fills me with joy. It fills me with energy. It fills me with love. And that way, when I'm able to go on stage, you feel that energy. I love the 60s sound. I love the 60s style. I could have lived in the 60s and got my life. Like the hairstyles, the outfits, they're all very flattering to me. I want to continue dabbling in that style. While we're doing a high ponytail with some layers and curls, 60 inspired. My team is so important to me. Like I have to be able to enjoy the people that are closest to me. And when you're working, you know, your hair, your makeup, your stylist, all those people are really close to you all the time. So we definitely have to be able to laugh. And that's like a requirement of mine because I like to keep things light. I love to keep things joyful. <laughs> when we are planning a show performance, we kind of get on a group chat. Everybody really just gives their opinion and we try to just work as a team to make sure that we get the best result. By the end of it, we come up with something that's really awesome and I'm really proud of the way everything has been shot and the way everything looks and the creative with the outfits. And, and so I'm, I'm really excited about what we came up with. She's ready to go. You're ready now? No. We're going to stop here and put on her heels by the door of the stage. Oh, okay. The walk to the stage, I have to kind of start to focus and zone in and think about what I'm about to do. I'm about to sing my audience and making sure that I give them everything that I have. So before that, I'm super silly. And then, like, when I'm walking, I, like, you know, I'm kind of zoned in. All right. So, here we go. When I first saw the blue scenery, I thought it was beautiful. I thought that it was really just a step up from everything that I've done in the past. I feel like I never really got a shot to like do creative things and like with the wardrobe and the hair and the, the, the makeup and the scenery and stuff like that. So I was really excited to get a chance to do that and I feel like it shows that you know, it's Jasmine on another level. All right, stand by, guys. It's a lot of work to put a show together, especially now with, like, COVID. There's so many rules and everything that goes into even just being in a room with a bunch of people to, to have a performance. And then when you get on set, it's not just like at, at a normal live show, you kind of just sing and it is what it is. But like when you're recording and you're taping, different angles of different people and shots of you. And so it's a lot that goes into the process of creating what everyone sees, but it's so worth it, you know, at the end when you get the right shots and you get the, the right everything, it just all comes together. I 
I'm performing Pick Up Your Feelings and the key to keeping the essence of the song but switching it up is to just have fun. Performing for me is almost like jazz scatting. Like I, I always just want to have fun and do something different and I feel like that's fun for the audience to hear. You know, they hear the radio version so much and so sometimes when you're, when you're doing it live you just want to switch it up a little bit and just give them something different. Don't forget to come and pick up your Don't leave no pieces I reimagined Pick Up Your Feelings this time with my MD and we actually did it a little more muted this time. The song is really big and it's a lot of uh, energy in it and we wanted to just give a smooth version of the song. It's always mishaps on set. I definitely ripped my leggings <laughs> off some diamonds on the microphone stand. I started choking on the smoke that was, <laughs> that was in the room. So when things happen like that, you kind of just have to fix it really quick and kind of just get back in character and get back into the scene. And you know, you don't really have time really to kind of dwell on anything. My mom is my number one fan and my ride or die, so I'm always going to her for critiques. And since Corona, we haven't been able to be around each other as much. So I was actually really looking forward to her being here and giving me feedback. So after I did the first take, I like immediately look for her to tell me how she felt and give me her critiques and she did and I just feel so much more comfortable when my mom's around because I know if nobody else is making sure I'm good she is and if nobody else is paying attention to every little detail she is and I just trust her judgment so like a lot of songs sometimes that I may not think is good enough she'll let me know if it is or if it isn't she she basically helps pick the album out all oh, right the, I got it. I got it. <laughs> we got. <laughs> she's still, she's still going. That was not. <laughs> the critique she gave me today was to just be really expressive with my face. Um, sometimes when I'm focusing like on singing, I forget that it's really about acting as well. And so she kind of made me remember that. Since I was younger, I, I've always had an issue with like being on stage and being still, and I really feel like that was because I just was never really comfortable in my body. It's been interesting even for myself to kind of see that transformation because I surprise myself sometimes when I'm like moving because I know that wasn't the case years ago, and especially when I was younger. So I'm like excited to see me grow in that way. The growth that I've experienced is basically just me being a grown woman and, and owning who I am. I'm so much more comfortable with myself. I lost some weight. I became a vegan. I've, I've just experienced so much that's got me to a place of just being super comfortable and like kind of putting myself out there and accepting myself so that people can accept me uh, and love me the way that I love myself. So the growth has been in just learning to love who I am. I feel like Pick Up Your Feelings has resonated with people and especially women because it's really owning who you are and taking your power back. As women, sometimes we're often not heard, often not given a voice. And in this particular song, it's all about just being powerful and letting a person know, letting a guy know that you just can't treat me any type of way and you gotta go. And now it's time for a performance by one of our favorite artists. She's a BET Award winner, a multiple Grammy nominee, and an NAACP Image Award nominee this year. Here is our sister, Jasmine Sullivan. When people see the Image Awards show, I hope they feel a vibe. I hope they see the growth in Jasmine Sullivan as a whole. It's been an amazing year. This song is number one on the R&B charts. It's my first number one R&B charted song, period. Did 
performance is just taking me and my brain to just another level. Put a lock on the door, but my heart was worth for your age of mine. But I had enough, now I'm really done. I deserve more than you gave to me. And now I'm saving me, and I made my peace. So you can run them streets, but don't. 